Now, we'll create change password method. So, open account controller. We'll add username and parameters of this method which we sent from verify email page. Inside it, use if statement and check is username is null or empty. Inside it, return redirect to action method and pass it verify email action and account controller. Under it, return view, pass it new change password view model object and inside it, set email equal to username. Now run the app. Go to login page. Go to change password page without providing it username. And we're redirected to verify email page. This method is working as expected. Now, create HTTP post annotation. Under it, create async method of type task of I action result. Name change password. Pass change password view model as model. Inside it, create if statement and check if model state is valid. Inside it, create user variable. Initialize it with user manager dot find by name async method. And pass it model dot email. Create if statement and check if user is not null. Inside it, create result variable. You can initialize it with change password async method, but for it, you'll need previous password. But I'm using email verification for this purpose, so I'll use remove password async method and pass it user. Use another if statement and check if result succeeded. Inside it, initialize result variable with user manager dot add password async method and pass it user and model dot new password. Now, return redirect to action method and pass it login action and account controller. Create else block for this for each loop from register method and paste it here. Create else for outer if. Copy this line and paste it here and change the error description. Then return the view with model. Now, create another else block. Inside it, copy paste these two lines. Change the error description here. Now run the app. Copy the email from database. Go to login page. Click on forgot password. Paste the email here. And we're redirected to change password page because this email exists in database. Email is sent to this page through the URL. Now enter the new password and submit. We are redirected to login page which means password is changed. Now try to login using new password. And we have logged in successfully. One thing to note here, we have not implemented any advanced email verification methods. We verified the email this way just to show you that how it's done. You can add more features to enhance security. See you in the next part.